Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March the 3rd of 2024 is titled A Total Solar Eclipse Close Up in Real Time. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video we're going to look at and this is from the August of 2017 solar eclipse. Now we're looking at it in real time this portion of it. So let's go ahead and run the video so we can look at it as we discuss it a little bit. And the first thing you'll see is of course the introduction screen there noting what the eclipse was and where it was taken in Warms Spring, Oregon. Now as we watch we're going to see the very beginning of the eclipse here as the moon is just covering that last little portion of the sun. You'll see little bits of the moon around where there's valleys that allow sunlight through for a few seconds longer and then finally that last bit disappears. Now the instrument used to do this was also to look around the edge of the sun and look at that during the eclipse. So we will notice that in a little bit here. Now it starts to move and we will look around the edge of the moon there. So the dark portion is the moon. And what's becoming bright now is the solar atmosphere. So we see the corona and the chromosphere of the sun. And we will also see some solar prominences sticking out around the edge of the uh, moon there. So those are actually parts of the sun that are now visible. Normally, you do not see the solar prominences without special filters, because the norm ordinary sun is overwhelmingly bright and keeps that from being seen. And now as we come back around toward the bottom, we see another small prominence there and we come back around towards the lower limb here of the sun. And we will continue this process one more time. Let's look around the edge. Note that solar corona with its various structures of material as material is then expelled off of the sun from the corona. And there we'll start to see the prominences in the upper right hand side and then closer to the top a much larger prominence where material is lifted off the surface of the sun. And as we come back around toward the bottom again, we can see some of those loops in those prominences, signifying that they are affected by the magnetic field of the sun. And we'll come back around to the bottom again. We're still during the total phase of the eclipse, where the entirety of the sun is blocked out by the moon. Now we will note as we come we'll come back up toward the top one more time. And again seeing the solar corona around the limb of the moon now visible as the bright part of the sun is being blocked out. And as we get toward the top again we see it getting a little bit brighter. And we can pause there as those first glimmers of sunlight reappear as the moon continues its motion and allows us to see once again that part of the sun starting to come out. Now this is timed very well because we are only a little over a month away from another solar eclipse visible in North America. And that will be on April the 8th when we will have another solar eclipse, especially going up through Mexico and part of the e parts of the eastern portions of the United States. So depending on where you're located, you might get to see an eclipse like this. That's a very narrow path going across the from Texas up uh, into Canada and other regions of the US will see a partial solar eclipse where just a portion of the sun will be blocked out by the moon. So you could take a look and see where those actual where that actual path would be. Uh, it's going to be a very prominent thing visible uh, that we will get to see over the next month. So looking forward to this eclipse coming up on April the 8th of this year. So that was our picture of the day for March 3rd of 2024. It was titled a total solar eclipse close up in real time. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be strange horizon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.